Fallen Kingdom, it is time once again for Bad Girls Rants. In this installment, I will be touching upon transphobia for the second time. Now, I thought I said everything that needed to be said the first time around, but that's not the case. You see, I have more to add to it in light of a recent event. Living in New Orleans, I really haven't had the pleasure of getting to know very many transgenders. As a matter of fact, I only know two. And I was under the impression that I was good friends with uh, both of these transgenders because that is one of the biggest things I am about. Self-acceptance and dealing with gender identity. However, this changed about three weeks ago. Matter of fact, the week of Prismatic Tour, so it was not cool that I was hit with this, this the week that I really needed positive auras. Anyway, one of my two transgender whom I used to call friend, unfriended me on Facebook. Well, initially I was like, whoa, what the hell? You know, surely this must be a mistake, because, you know, I, I, I've done this. You know, I've been doing a friends list cleanup where I'm deleting people that I haven't engaged with in over two years. And, you know, maybe there's two people with very similar names and I get them mixed up and I delete the wrong one. I've done that accidentally and I thought that my transgender friend had done so as well. So I texted him saying, hey, yo, brother, we're tight. What's going on? Did you delete me on accident? Please put me back on. And well, they responded with this. I will read this word for word. It pisses me off that you say or have said that you want to go on hormones. Anyone that constantly has to tell people they are dressed in drag isn't transgender. And going on hormones just to enhance a drag performance isn't okay. That could take it away from someone that actually deserves them. I hate that you compare our situations. It honestly pisses me off more than anything. We are not similar. I'm transgender and you're not. We don't go through the same struggles. It's as simple as that. I did listen to your voicemail, and I have to inform you that we aren't honestly haven't ever been friends. We were acquaintances. We never hung out aside from me seeing you at some functions. We never even really talked aside from a few comments on Facebook, and at one time you called me, and I had no idea how you got my phone number. But that's honestly that. That's all I have to say. I don't want to say anything more about it. I ask that you respect what I've said and try not to approach me at, insert friend names party, anywhere that I may see you after that. Wow. I'll also add that any other communications I attempted with this person have been ignored. Let me start by saying, yes, I am a drag queen. No, I am not legally transgender. But there is a reason for that. I can't afford it. And my parents, who can afford it, are not behind me on it. It took them two years to even accept that I do this, drag, dress as a woman. I have been fighting with gender identity ever since I was little. Yes, I did like Ninja Turtles and Mario Brothers, but I also liked Barbie and My Little Pony, decades before it was cool. I loved playing with my mom's makeup, and I loved trying on my mom's shoes. It was appealing to me. I didn't understand why it made me so happy, but it did. And it wasn't until a few years ago that I made the revelation, I'm happier as a woman than I am as a man. When I dress up like this as a woman, I feel very attractive, very beautiful. When I first started, I wasn't very good, but I've gotten much better, and now I can go places such as Prismatic Tour, and have hundreds of photos taken of me because everyone thinks I look so good. And that makes me so happy. It's a happiness that I wish I could experience on a daily basis. I don't want to take estrogen just to enhance my drag performance. I perform drag because it, along with crossplay, are the closest things to being a woman I can ever be. Honestly, I don't consider myself like the other queen. When I do makeup, I'm trying to look like a convincing woman. And most queens, not all, but majority of queens are a parody of a woman. Exaggerated makeup, exaggerated hair, exaggerated mannerisms. They are mocking the image of a woman. And that's not what I want, but it's all I've got because transgendering from a man to a woman is a very delicate, devoted, and risky process. With the current salary I have, I might be able to begin taking estrogen, but what if I lose my job? What if money goes under? And then 
I cannot afford to keep doses going. I stop the estrogen doses and then the whole method is fucked up. That is what's stopping me from taking estrogen. It's why I haven't made the transformation. This is not just for the show. I actually do enjoy doing it on a very emotional and sentimental level. And for somebody to tell me to just fuck off because I am not transgender, that is not fair. That is very, very hurtful and not cool. So to the person who sent this message, I won't use your name, but I certainly hope you watch this. And I just want to say shame on you. Shame on you for saying such things like that to me. No, we're not exactly the same, but we are similar. We both fight with gender identity. It's just you've had the privilege of having family members who will back you up on the hormone doses. So you don't have to worry about it backfiring because you can keep it going. So between the two of us, you're the lucky one. I know that you have trouble with society just like I do. And I know that not every single member of your family supports your transformation. And I wanted to be there for you. I wanted to be the friend that you could go to about this, that if you were upset about it, you could come to me and talk to me and I felt like I could understand you. But now that you've shoved me away and want nothing to do with me, there's no I don't know what I can offer now. You know, when I started Bad Girls Bitch Vlog, I knew that I would get haters, but I was picturing, you know, the uh, normies of society who look down upon anything that is different. And, you know, I expected attacks from people who are in support of hate groups such as Westboro Baptist Church. Those were haters that I were expecting. Never in a millennium did I ever think that someone I stood for, someone I supported with all my soul and just wanted to be there for and help in any way I could would turn out to be a hater. I want to stand for transgenders of the world, but I can only stand for those who allow me to. I have to keep thinking that this was just the opinion of one person one transgender. Everyone has a different outlook on life. Everyone has a different outlook on me. So I hope there are still some transgenders and homosexuals and anyone else who is having trouble with society who can understand that Bad Girls Bitch Blog is here for you. It's about self-acceptance, self-love, but at the same time, loving others too. That is my message to the world. And I'm having a hard time having it heard, but I'm going to keep trying. But I need you guys to work with me on this. In order to help you, I need you to also help me. This has to be a mutual support. That's the only way this can work. This has been Bad Girls Rants. Salute. Bad of the bone. Bad of the bone. Bye.